Welcome back to Deal Unboxing. Today we are going to review BMAX B4 Pro Mini PC. This mini PC is a new model in BMAX mini PC lineup. And if you are not familiar with BMAX brand, they make great products, including laptops, mini PC and more. We have reviewed their products before and highly recommend it. So in this in-depth review, we are going to go over the features, specs, some benchmarks and also do a teardown of this mini PC. So please sit back, relax and enjoy the review. And also please subscribe to the channel and hit the bell icon for notifications for future videos. So let's do a quick unboxing. In the box, we have a mini PC, a power adapter comes with Europe and US connectors, HDMI cable, included mini PC mount to mount the PC behind monitor or TV or on the wall, and a user manual. Now let's look at the specs. The BMAX B4 Pro mini PC is powered by 8th gen Intel Core i3-8145U dual core processor with a base clock speed of 2.1 GHz and maximum clock speed of 3.9 GHz. It also comes with 256 GB NVMe SSD, but there's also additional M.2 SATA SSD slot and third 2.5 form factor HD mounting option as well. We will get into it in a minute during a teardown. Also PC comes with 8 GB DDR4 RAM, 9th gen Intel UHD 620 graphics, 802.11 AC dual band Wi-Fi, Bluetooth 5.0 and comes with Windows 10 Pro Edition. Now let's look at the ports. On the back of the mini PC we have two USB 2 ports, one mini display port with 4K resolution up to 60Hz, one HDMI 2 port with 4K resolution at 60Hz, one gig LAN port and power input and a reset button. Then on the front of the mini PC we have two USB 3 ports, one USB Type-C port with video output option to support 4K at 60Hz headphone and microphone jack, and a power button. Then on the side of the mini PC we have a micro SD card slot and there are plenty of air ventilations around the mini PC. Now let's do a teardown of this mini PC and see what are the upgradable options we have. You can access the motherboard by removing the four hidden screws under the rubber feet in the bottom. Once you remove the back cover you will see the back of the motherboard. On the motherboard you have two M.2 form factor ports. One of them is M.2 NVMe slot and second one is M.2 SATA 2242 slot. The NVMe slot comes equipped with 256 GB NVMe SSD, but if you want bigger NVMe, you can always replace it or add a second M.2 SATA hard drive. You also have an option to add an additional third 2.5 form factor hard drive with available SATA port hiding under the Wi-Fi card, but you have to buy a cable for it because it is not included with the mini PC. And according to documentation, you can add up to two terabyte of 2.5 form factor hard drive to meet your daily storage need. So if you want to access Wi-Fi card, you have to remove the NVMe hard drive. The Wi-Fi card is a dual band 802.11ac standard, but you can upgrade it with the Wi-Fi 6 card if you want. Replacement is extremely easy. Just remove the single screw holding the Wi-Fi card and remove the antenna cables. For testing purpose, I installed Intel AX200 Wi-Fi 6 card and it worked perfectly fine without installing any additional drivers. So something to keep in mind if you want faster Wi-Fi speeds. Also motherboard has two SODIMM slots, which is great from expandability point of view. And the system comes with 8GB DDR4 RAM running in single channel mode at 2666MHz speed. But you can install second SODIMM RAM in dual channel configuration. It will definitely help improve the system performance. The RAM is expandable up to 64GB. But the pre-configured 8GB DDR4 RAM is plenty enough for most of the daily computing tasks and Windows 10. So if you want to access the CPU, you have to remove four Phillips screws holding the motherboard. In order to take the motherboard out, you have to remove the back plate of the mini PC and slide the back of the motherboard outwards and lift the front side of the motherboard. You have to be very careful with the Wi-Fi card cables, which are taped to the side of the PC for better signals. You have to take the motherboard out of the case and flip it upside down to access the CPU heatsink and fan. So if you want to clean the heatsink or replace thermal paste, you have to remove the heatsink and fan by removing the Phillips screws holding the heatsink and fan. The heatsink and fan cover most of the motherboard and BMAX is using copper heat pipe configuration, which is great for cooling and you cannot hear the fan during general usage. And following is the sound during stress test. Overall BMAX B4 Pro Mini PC motherboard build quality and internals are one of the best in the business and gives you plenty of options to upgrade. Now let's run some benchmarks to see how well this mini PC performs. In the performance, our unit is equipped with 8th gen Intel Core i3-8145U processor, 
The processor is rated for 15 watts and has dual cores with four threads with a base clock speed of 2.1 GHz and a maximum clock speed of 3.9 GHz. Its performance is sufficient for everyday general usage, office tasks, and can be used as a media PC to handle 4K content. Following is a 4K video file sample at high bit rate and the PC was able to run it flawlessly without any lag or problem. During our video editing test in Adobe Premiere Pro, we were able to load 4K video clips and while scrubbing around we were surprised it was able to handle it without any problem. But if you are planning to do some more video editing, I highly recommend have a dual channel configuration. It gives PC better performance, but overall PC performance for dual core mini PC is great. Moving on to the next test, our unit scored 333 points in Cinebench Multi-Thread CPU Performance Benchmark, running at 2.1 GHz, which is on par with the competition in its class. And in CPU-Z Benchmark, CPU scored 1068 points in Multi-Thread and 397 points in Single Thread, which is also one of the best scores we have seen in this category. Next in Geekbench CPU Benchmark, CPU scored 1023 points in Single Core and 1917 points in Multi-Core. Also in Geekbench GPU Benchmark, Intel 620 Graphics scored 4,828 points. Next we ran 3D Mark times by Benchmark and PC scored 1,556 points in CPU score and 359 points in Graphics score. We also ran a zip extraction test of 6GB file with video capture software running in the background and Mini PC was able to produce great results and had no problem handling multitasking. Overall the Mini PC stayed exceptionally cool during our testing. The temperature never crossed 70 degrees Celsius during our CPU stress test under CPU-Z for 30 minutes and you can barely hear the fan under stress test as well which means cooling is sufficient enough to keep the temperature under control. In the storage benchmark BMAX B4 Pro Mini PC offers good read and write rates that are above average in its class. Our unit scored 1824 MB per second read and 1103 MB per second write in SSD benchmark thanks to its M.2 256 GB NVMe SSD. But as mentioned before, you have an option to upgrade to bigger or faster M.2 NVMe SSDs. In the graphics, PC is powered by Intel UHD 620 graphics. It's not powerful enough to play the most graphic demanding games, but it is good for popular multiplayer titles like Fortnite, Overwatch or Rocket League and can play 4K content at 60 frames per second without any problem. Now let's go through the BIOS settings quickly to check out the available options. On the main BIOS page, you will see the processor information and memory information confirming a total of 8GB DDR4 RAM running at 2666MHz. There are plenty of BIOS settings to configure under advanced settings. Mini PC also has TPM2 module, so it can be used for hard drive encryption like Microsoft BitLocker to secure data. Then under CPU configuration, BMAX has done a great job configuring the BIOS for CPU. So out of the box you will benefit for full CPU performance and CPU's turbo mode is enabled and boost performance mode is set to maximum performance but you can switch it to max battery if you're running on UPS to save battery. The CPU supports Intel's virtualization technology and it enables in the BIOS. There are plenty of BIOS settings to configure but you can leave everything to default because out of the box BMAX has configured the BIOS towards the maximum performance so great job by BMAX. The overall size of the PC is very small measuring 4.92 by 4.41 by 1.85 inch. It can easily fit in your pocket and weighs only 450 grams. The design of the mini PC allows you to place it directly on your desk, living room or even mount it behind the monitor with the including mounting plate. The top and bottom of the PC is plastic but the rest of the body is aluminum with great attention to detail finish. Overall BMAX B4 Pro mini PC perform extremely well in this review. The well-built aluminum construction and strong technical features and option to upgrade are the big plus points. The standout feature of the BMAX PC is its ability to run three displays at the same time using USB-C port, HDMI port and DisplayPort and each can support resolution up to 4K at 60Hz. The mini PC also delivers great everyday PC performance, doing multitasking and more. I would absolutely recommend it on that basis for anyone looking for a personal PC and have the option to upgrade the majority of its component and can run three displays at 4K resolution. Let me know what you guys think of BMAX B4 Pro Mini PC in the comments below. If you like this video, please subscribe to the channel, hit the like button and hit the bell icon for notifications for future videos. Thanks for watching and see you in the next one.